Okay, so the first thing we need to do is load up uh, the plugin with the magic effect that we want, unless we're going to recreate it, and any plugin with an armor that we want. I always like to get the update just so that if, if there's any patches, it's got those. Next, we're going to go ahead and expand out the stealth suit. Go find our invisibility effect. Uh, like I said, you can recreate this if you want. Uh, I'm not going to. Go ahead and right click, copy it as a new record, give it a new unique name, doesn't matter what it is, and make a new file. Go ahead and add the master. Next we're going to go ahead and right click and hit add, choose the enchantment for an object effect, gives us a category. We're going to go ahead and right click on that again and add a new effect. Go ahead and choose the default form ID. And first thing we're going to do is give it a new editor ID. Name it whatever you want. And we're going to go ahead and change enchantment type to enchantment. And we're going to have to expand the magic effect here so that we can see the form ID. We're going to edit our effect here and give it the same ID. Go ahead and leave magnitude, area, and duration zero uh, because these are set up for not using those effects, or the values rather. And I think we're pretty much done. Uh, the next thing we need to do is add conditions. As it is right now, if this effect is put on something, it will be instant and always on. So if we add a condition, we actually want two. If we want to follow the same as what uh, the other armor had, where is it here? There it is. Uh, it uses the is sneaking and is in combat. So if you're in combat, it won't go invisible, which makes sense. And then if it's sneaking, uh, it only affects it when you're sneaking. So we go back to our object effect. And we're going to give it equal to 1. Oops. And we can hit F2 here. It lets us get a little drop down box. If we know the name, we just start typing. same thing here. We want equal to 1 being a positive boolean true. Uh, 0 would be a false. Change this to is in combat. Uh, these are both triggering on the subject that the magic effect is affecting, which typically is going to be your player, the one that's wearing the item. Uh, and then that's it for setting up the effect. The next thing to do is going to be putting it on an armor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use, doesn't really matter, uh, let's see, we had a dragon scale something in here, not a helmet, I wanted a chest, so there it is, dragon scale armor. Uh, we're going to make a new dragon scale armor instead of overriding the default one. So we go ahead and right click, copy as a new record, give it some other unique name as well. We're going to put that in the same file that we just created. Minimize all that down. And since we just added a new field, we're going to have to uh, collapse and then re expand to be able to see our new record. And then we just change our enchantment effect right here, which actually I need that. And we put in the value. And we're done. Save, activate the plugin, and then you'll have to use the console to add this item to your inventory. Uh, the easiest thing to do then is going to be change the name of it so it's easy to find up here. Do that. And then that way you can just do a help command for test. It'll find the dragon scale armor. You can add it and equip it. Uh, do that with any other armor you want as well.